There are many ways to become attractive with girls. You can change the way you look, with your style maybe, or with going to the gym. You can also express yourself in a very different way, or you can learn to socialize in a very attractive way. There are many ways. But um, I do not hear a lot about changing your attractiveness energetically. Because energy is a very important component when you have interactions with girls, when you have dates, when you have intimacy, and when you enter a relationship. Your energy needs to be very attractive, very aligned in that sense. And I don't think a lot of men work on that, to be honest. Uh, they think it's too woo-woo or whatever, but really it's, it's a component that exists, you know. We're starting to see more and more scientists explaining that, yes, there might be energy in this world, it actually exists, we can quantify this, you know. So it's just a matter of time when science will truly say that, yes, energy exists between us, you know, we just don't see it, <laughs> you know. So there are many ways to increase your energy, to become more attractive with your energy. After exploring my dating life and relationships with girls the past six years, I found out that if you increase your self-love, you will naturally be attractive with your energy. It will look like you will have an aura around you, a very beautiful aura. Actually, you might receive some comments like this. Wow, your aura is so amazing. It's very common to hear that. And there are ways to work that. So in today's video, I will share with you one meditation, very simple. And you'll see, it will change your energy. If you practice it every day, you know, it demands a little bit of discipline, a little bit of work. But I'm sure you're someone that wants to change. So hopefully you'll do that every day. Now, let's do the meditation. Find a comfortable position, a sitting position, and as you find that position, I want you to cross your ankles and I want you to have your hands open, just like that, on your thigh. When you are in this position, then you can close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, take five deep breaths just to relax your body as much as you can. And now, I want you to imagine yourself in your imagination. What are you wearing? How do you look like right now as you imagine yourself? How do you feel? How are you? Take your time to imagine yourself. And now I'm going to repeat four mantras. Just listen to me. May you be loved. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. Now you're going to repeat these mantras in your head. Don't say it out loud. And I will say it out loud. May you be loved. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you be loved. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you be loved. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you be loved. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you be loved. 
May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be loved. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you be loved. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you be loved. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. And now I want you to feel that energy in your heart. And imagine your heart opening very slowly to the love that exists within yourself. And now, take a deep breath, and as you breathe, slowly, very slowly, open your eyes. Open your eyes. This is the practice. It can be very powerful sometimes, and sometimes not. Uh, it depends. Um, the order of the mantras is not important. You do whatever you want with that. And um, I recommend to do this every day for the next two months. Yeah? So don't come back to me and say, oh, I did it for two weeks, it didn't work. Do it for two months, longer period. It's very important. If you do that for one week or two weeks, you know, it's, it's not enough. It demands some kind of a discipline and certain work ethic for that to happen within yourself. So hopefully you will do that. Uh, if you want more practice like this, I do have a Patreon. So my Patreon is like a curriculum. It's where I have all my trainings, all my knowledge, all my wisdom. So if you're interested in diving deeper into, you know, proper dating and relationships training, then this is for you. The link is in the description. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do so. I would love to have you here. And uh, I see you when I see you. Peace.